Hello everyone, it's Dr. Lisa L. Campbell with another weekly book review. This week we are going to review The Mountain Is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery. If you can be honest, you can really think about, I would say, five areas where your growth was slowed down, not because of other people, because of you. And if you haven't, you definitely need to read this book because this author, Brianna, she actually guides you through this looking within looking at how you are putting things in your own way that's preventing you from moving to the next level, but how we can basically attack them, right? And so that we don't have them as a part of our journey. Now, you know, I, I'll be the first to say that sometimes fear can hold us hostage. I know for myself that I've allowed several things to hold me back. But as I continue on this journey for the next 50 years of my life, I'm climbing those mountains. I'm climbing them personally and professionally. As usual, my five areas. So number one, for me, the first key growth moment I had was how you identify the various forms of self-sabotage, right? Um, it could be procrastination. It could be negative self-talk. You name it, right? That's number one. Number two, she really gets into understanding the root cause of self-sabotage, right? Is it the fear? Is it past hurt? Or is it something that you're not even aware of that's holding you back? I think a lot of us, as we get older, we think like, well, I am who I am. I can't change. But honestly, if you go on this journey of self-awareness, self-discovery, you will find that, whoa, yeah, I am. I was the one holding myself back. Number three is the role of responsibility in self-transformation. This is about taking um, personal responsibility for your actions, your decisions, right? This shift is so critical in moving from being a victim to being empowered. All right, number four. Uh, my number four growth moment was about replacing old behaviors, old patterns with new ones, right? So replacing things that are harmful with constructive behaviors. In the book, she really focuses on action, action, giving you tools to, to make some tangible changes. Last and certainly not least, and this is really my favorite growth moment, is about sustaining the growth that you can achieve by putting in these um, tools into place, right? So for me, it was about setting boundaries, more self-care, and then continually aligning my actions with my values, being very intentional about that. So this book, The Mountain Is You, is really an insightful exploration into self-sabotage and then the path to overcoming it, right? This book is, hmm, it's a look in the mirror but it's also a road map to helping you climb those mountains. Again, personally, professionally. So this has been another book review. There will be a QR code for you to scan uh, my book list. I wish you the best week possible.